Welcome back to Boss Guys Reviews. There comes a time in every collector when you see a figure go for pre-order, you know you have to have it. But when you receive that figure in your hands, and you're like, wow, it blows your mind. And I'm telling you guys, this is one of those figures for me. The product images that was given out for these figures and currently available does not do this figure justice at all. This figure is absolutely beautiful. Join me on the review for the Vitruvian Hack Series 2, Night of Asperity, Agent of Chaos, the female version, by Boss Fight Studios. Okay, here's the packaging real quick, as um, this is a special kind of packaging. Um, if you don't know what Vitruvian Hacks is, Hacks is how the articulated character kit system. That means everything is pretty much modular. You can modify it for customs, kit bashings, whatnot. And not only that, the packaging itself is a collector friendly. There's no tape. You can remove the figure from the packaging, all of his accessories, play with it as much as you want, put it back in just as you got it without any damage to the card. So it's pretty nice for a card collector that wants to open their figures and return them to their original state. So here we have the, the clamshell. You can see most of the accessories on the front and the back. The artwork is incredible. The nameplate. These are recommended for doll collectibles uh, for ages at least 12 and up. Just so you know, for anybody out there that has a little collector that you're trying to raise and get into the game. There's nothing to see on the top sides or bottom. Um, and as you can see here, my point proven, uh, the product image there, the Knight of Asperity, she just looks like a doll gray you know, figure. But this figure is not anywhere near that look. So, you're going to be surprised when you see this. Uh, we actually do have a foul card on the back of here, Night of Spirit, Agent of Chaos. Uh, foul card. I will bring that up close to you guys if you want to pause and read that in the two different sections that it offers. Okay, I got it to where you can maybe see the top of it. If you want to pause and read that, you can. Hold up for just a bit. And then here's the bottom half of that. I think it looks good. Pause and read that. And over here is all the uh, social media and the uh, staff there at Boss Fight, Boss Fight Studio. Alright, with that being said, let's go ahead and get this uh, figure outside of packaging so you can see how awesome it really is. Here's a really nice layout of all the accessories you get. It's just fully loaded. Fantastic. Especially for the price point of between $27.99 and $29.99. Between, depending on where you get her from. But... Regardless, she's worth a $30 price tag. Here she is, outside of the clamshell. And I must say, she's absolutely stunning. I very rarely ever say that about any figure. But this figure, there's something about this figure. Something about that paint. They, they, man, that's a, that is a spectacular gunmetal color over a black buck and i'm telling you what man that really nailed it i can't really get express more now how this actually just catches the light it is this incredible looking figure the sculpting is intense it's the side of that helmet so if you can capture all that sculpt work especially here on the side there so the the holes the sculpt the, there's little spikes all through this helmet it's actually very uh, irritating at some point to touch it. The eye vent. It's, it's black inside there. And on top of that, look at that sculpting. All kinds of chisels. I mean, you guys can see those little spikes or not. That's stuff that you can't really tell in the uh, initial product images. Let's look at the back of the helmet. Oh, on the top, there's some spikes. Oh, there's, right there, you can see one. That's incredible. And they feel so solid. It's not like they're going to break off or anything. Great plastic. We have these shoulder pauldrons here. And they're just beautiful. The paint is insane. The problem with this figure is not a whole lot to see because it's a, it's a black knight. Um, so it, it fits the bill. Without a whole lot of description. More or less you're just trying to see the sculpting and the paint on this. You know, the paint's all one color, basically, besides the under buck. See all different studs throughout. It's a 
this across the chest here. So I'm down here on the, the lower stomach area and the lower crotch area. The only other color besides the uh, overall gunmetal, the black block, is this red PVC piece hanging right here. Very flexible. Then we have the black block. If you can see underneath. Look at those uh, lower legs. We have the knee pads, the shin pads, the overall feet. That armor looks killer. When I first seen this, I was like, wow, that does not look like the product images. I was so happy that it turned out better because I didn't actually like the product images. Like, I don't like that. It was a new one coming out, the like King of Asperity or something. He looks terrible. It's like gold and purple. And um, I'm just wondering <laughs> if that's like a prototype look or if that's their final version to me. It doesn't look very good. Look at the back of this thing. You see the upper part of the head? See all the spikes. Then on the back here we have the shoulders where we have these two holes. It's like maybe for a sword sleeth or, or some kind of attachment of a weapon. Down here. Wow, this joint's so good. So that's for one thing about the armor here is these two pieces are here are on like a round piece that you can remove if you don't like these side pieces but they got some really nice material there i'm hoping it's nothing that's ever going to break seems like a nice rubber material that if you would mount her on a steed these would definitely flare out no issues i think they missed a buck deal on this we should kind of either left that off and it might take away from the over aesthetic but i don't know if it would cost more to get a cloth piece or something kind of just stick sockets in a way or somehow shifted it to the side but it's still not a deal breaker because that's my only real complaint what's this amazing figure for the articulation she can uh, rotate 360 oh that hurts because <laughs> all the spikes like porcupine that's so irritating but so awesome at the same time okay so 360 all the way around uh side side there down really well Back to stationary. These pieces do float around a little bit. They're not attached to the uh, shoulders or the armor. They're actually literally attached to this back piece. This is all one piece that's pegged into the back, I believe. As you can see, it's removable. So it's a peg piece. So that's pretty nice. Um, the arms, they do raise up. I'm trying not to break my figure. Because this is probably have to remove these to get those arms to go up, but I'm pretty sure it does. And I don't want to go and make it, I don't know how hard it is to take off. Oh, there we go, so it pegs right on. And then that gives us an idea of the armor, yeah. So it does hit that a good bit, so that's definitely unfortunate. I'm doing something wrong. These rotate 360 way around. Yeah, it's definitely hitting. There's no drop down or nothing. Okay. So, uh, 360 at the um, elbow. All the way around. Bendable elbow. Pretty cool. 90 degrees. Get you 9 degrees over here. Um, This hand is the up and down like this. And so is this hand. So we have the two ups and downs and it rotates 360 all the way around. I think mine are stuck. They need to be heated. So the chest articulation, you go forward and back a little bit. 360 there. Um a little lower, I don't think. Nice split. So ball pegs. This way, um, double jointed knees. It's pretty good for the feet. I'm not sure. Oh wait, there's thigh the rotation on both legs. Um, there's no other cuts anywhere. Kind of fit 
pivot down not too much up you got the rocker side to side and a 360 rotation around the armor if you so desire so she looks really good for what we're looking for for articulation the biggest thing i have for this figure is a shoulder range unless there's something i'm missing there oh yeah one of the other things i want to look at was a sitting position because if we do have a steed she can just sit really nicely but like i said the miss of the uh this piece of metal but it's so flexible it could lay up top it's just gonna look kind of weird but you can see how these flare out it works out pretty good did miss that so sorry about that when we we're looking at the uh, lower legs okay for her accessories since she has a lot of them we have the alternate head the skull head wow it's pretty cool it's like a gray skull with black over it then we have the painted red eyes inside Pretty nice, nice wash. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on uh, the figure. You can see it better than, better than my fingers. Um, it does come with an additional, additional ball peg, so that's cool. Okay, there she is with that alternate head. That just looks menacing. Very nice. The top of it, very, very cool. Next accessory is this helmet. Man, this thing is very prickly. <laughs> it pokes you every time you touch it. This is, we've seen before, it's just a repaint of the uh, Night of Sparity Mel version. It is awesome, nonetheless. And again, I'm going to put this on the actual head, the skull, because it is poking the death out of me. It is very hard plastic, so there's really no movement besides your skin. Got that best I could. You can see the red eyes in there. The skull work on the helmet. The spikes. I must say this helmet fits more better than the original uh, male version. It's tighter a uh, sculpt. And his spikes are but the real deal, man. So be careful. This is a heads up. Very awesome looking figure. Man. I went ahead and got me two of these. I wish I got a third because I uh, have one, one so kind of like her troops, I guess. So here's a comparison of how they look if you decide to army build these characters. Man, this is like, these are cool, really cool figures. Okay, look at our first weapon is this awesome design sword, kind of metal blade. I love the circles here in the upward V shape. This is a very long sword. And this the bottom of the sword, nicely detailed. That's how tall it is. Here she is, just basically holding it. Nice, tight fit. Very cool. It's insane. Next up is her shield. Very cool design. We have that color of the gunmetal, shiny gunmetal on the edges. The red, the black, the white beast inside. This is what it looks like on the inside. They spared no sculpting. Nicely detailed red handle. Looks crazy. Got the ring there at the top and bottom. Looks like that. Oh yeah, that's a real ring. See that? It's a real ring that you can hang something in a rope, chain, something. You can actually put something through there. That's really cool. And also, there's a place right here inside the shield for some type of weapon or a blade. I'm not sure why that's there, because there's nothing to go there, best I can tell. Okay, she's holding that shield. Pretty nice. This blew my mind with all those uh, extra little details on the inner side of the shield. There's nothing that she comes with. I'm just, uh, definitely unfortunate. 
She comes with this sword sleuth, nice done black with the gunmetal trim throughout both sides. Got the peg for her back, assuming. So this sword just fits strictly through. It comes off the other side like so. And here is paid on her back. Pretty cool. And here's a front view with that sword on her back. Unfortunately, there's nowhere else on her person to put that sword. Nowhere around her waist, just on the back. So this comes with this halberd handle. Very long. It's studded with that beautiful gunmetal there in the center and on the tips. Now one thing about these studs, it's only on the top and bottom. The sides are just smooth. Pretty cool. And then you have two options here. You have this piece, which is amazing looking, to place on the top of that. Now you want to remember something if you get yours. This collar piece right here comes off kind of stuck. You got to pull that off to put the alternate one on. And that goes on here like so. I'm giving you an idea, it kind of looks like this. See that collar piece? And then the alternate piece is this one. You did definitely need to remove this piece, I saw. And you get that amazing long handle axe. It's pretty nice. And that is sharp too. So there's two options right there. If you buy two, you can do one of each, which is really awesome. This is what that little piece looks like. I can't do this because it's very tough to get these in on camera. So we're just going to put it on here and I'll be right back. And there's how that looks. And for comparison, there's the other one. That looks insane. That looks amazing. Great medieval weapons for any of your Wayne Teen Scale figures. You just get a one set of alternate hands that are pretty much the same like this. I got them backwards. Three, two. Kind of an opening, kind of grabbing hands. It's both the same, but just the rest and the right. The last thing you get is this Spotify Studio stand we've seen before. It's just a flat black plastic stand for your figure. And we'll finish up by looking how well they hold those very unique kind of halberd type weapons. Um, <laughs> don't walk, run and get these things. I very rarely ever say that. I highly recommend these times 10. They're great. Get as many as you want, as many as you can. Um, once the secret gets out of how cool these really are, they're going to sell pretty quick, just like the male character. So if you like this video, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up, like, share and subscribe. Comment down below and we'll see you in our next review.